Hello everyone and welcome to another Roaring Records tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to continue talking about remixing and in this discussion of remix we're going to talk about how to add harmonies. This video is going to be a little longer than the typical video you get from me but this is going to really show you how to go about getting your harmonies to be right when you work on a project like a remix. And this one isn't all chopped up, but um, the first thing you want to do is, of course, make sure your song is in and matched with the beat as our song is here. And this is the song Grenade by Bruno Mars, which we've been doing in all the other videos. So uh, if you can't just automatically hear the chords, which a lot of you may not be able to do, um, what are some methods for knowing what harmonies go with it? Well, if you go to Google and you search grenade Bruno Mars and the word chords, a lot of different things will come up. Um, and this is the first one, grenade chords by Bruno Mars from ultimateguitar.com. And ultimate guitar has a lot of stuff. I'm not saying it's all accurate, but it is a lot of stuff. And we see here that, uh, the chord D minor goes over the words easy come, easy go. That's just how you live, O. Oh. And then it switches to A minor for take, take, take it all, but you never give. Switches back. Should have known you were trouble from your first kiss. Switch it again. Had your eyes wide open, so it switches on the word eyes. And then, boom, A chord. And... Why were they open? And NC stands for no chord. So there's a break in the chords in that song, which he does a lot to create the stop time effect. So let's go back here. And we've got an instrument in here. We're going to create a MIDI region to use. And I'm just going to extend it out a pretty good ways so that uh, we've got plenty of room to work with. And go back in here to the beginning of the region. And the first chord we saw was easy come, easy go. That's just how you live. Oh, so one thing we need to know is how far into the song that D minor covers. So let's see. Easy come, easy go. That's just how you live. Oh. So roughly two measures there. So now it's a D minor chord. The first note we need is a D. So the C is marked in our piano roll. So we're just going to go up the alphabet, C. D, and we're going to make that our first note and extend it out for the two measures that it is. Now, to make a minor chord, I like to use a basic formula. And on the piano roll, that formula is a 3, 4, the number 3, the number 4 formula. And what I mean by that is to go from the root note up 1, 2, 3, and make that the next note of the chord. Then, on, to finish off the minor chord, which is a 3-4 formula, you're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. So now I have a D minor chord. Easy come, easy go. That's just how you live. Oh. Which is cool. I'm going to turn the metronome off for now. Um, then the next one was take, take, take it all, but you never give. And that's all under A minor. So now I'm going to go C, D, E, F, G, A. So I'm going to make my root note here. Again, I'm going to apply a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 formula because that's an A minor chord, so it gets a 3, 4 chord formula. And then... It goes back to should have known you were trouble from the first kiss and then had your eyes wide open. So it's D minor to A minor again. Should have known you was trouble from the first kiss. Had you. Oh, so it's another two measure chord there. So we're going to repeat our D minor chord, which we had up here. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And then... There's an A minor. Eyes wide open. That's one measure this time. So we'll get the C, D, E, F, G, A. Minor, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. 
but this isn't two measures, just one measure, so we'll shorten it. And then it goes to an A7 chord, but it's a short hit. A7, why were they open? So we're going to make a much shorter hit now and do an A7 chord. So that's a major chord with a minor seventh on top. So the formula for a major chord is to do a 4-3. So we're going to have our root note, and then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3. Now you'll notice the outer notes for an A minor and A major are the same. It's the inner note that makes the difference. So the major formula is a 4-3, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 2, 3 whereas the minor chord was 3, 4, and you can see the difference there. Now, to get a 7 on the chord, as this says, you're actually going to walk up another 3. 1, 2, 3. So that gives us our A7, and then we're going to select this all and make it a nice short hit. So here we go, so you can hear this from the top. That's just how you live Oh, take, take, take it all But you never give Should've known you was trouble From the first kiss Had your eyes wide open Why were they open? Gave you So, we got that. That would be following the approach from something like uh, Guitar Pro, whatever this, ultimateguitar.com. And there are lots of different sites out there to give you chord charts. Instant chord is a little bit different. If we go into Bruno Mars on Insta or Cordify, sorry, this is Cordify.net, Cordify.net, you'll notice that we see um, your basic one comes out as this diagram. And normally it's on guitar chords, but we're working with a piano roll. So Right here, it's giving us the shapes of the piano chords, and it gives us this funky screen. So let's watch what happens here. Blocks is a beat in the song, and each hard black line is a measure. So we're able to use that to hear where the chord changes are. So we'll keep going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is where we're at in the song now. So I'm going to use this to keep going. So it's a D minor chord that lasts two measures. And that's what we see right there. And then it shows us down here exactly what a D minor chord would look like. So I can go in here and be like, hey, I'm going to write a D minor chord. I know that that looks like this, this, and this. So D minor chord. Then I'm going to make it last for two measures. Now, some of you may have asked how I was switching back and forth between my pencil tool and my pointer tool. It's the Alt key or the Option key on a Mac to be able to do that. Um, just select your pointer tool and then alt or option will let you switch back and forth. So we did two measures on a D minor. Now we're going to do two measures on an A minor. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. And there's two measures. Let's out make it longer. See what's next. A D minor chord again for two measures. So we're getting pretty good at these D minor chords and A minor chords by now. And then it goes to B flat for one measure and then one beat of A. So B flat major for one measure and then one beat of an A followed by rest. So we're going to go to a B flat major chord, so we have to go C, D, E, F, G, A, B is here. To get to a flat, we come down to the black key. The B 
down to the black key. B flat. And then this is major, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. Again, that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three gets us to our next chord. And then it's going to A major. So again, C, D, E, F, G, A. And then a major, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. But this was only supposed to last one measure. And then this one is only supposed to last one beat or one little hit there. So we've got that. Now listening to the new stuff we just did. Gave you all I had and you tossed it in the trash. You tossed it in the trash. You did. To give me all your love is all I ever ask. Cause what you don't understand is I catch a grenade. So there you have filled in the harmonies that you would need for this particular song. Um, if it were me, I noticed that these harmonies are not very close. They're moving up and down a lot. I might take the bottom notes and then it says F3 right now. And I would move it up until I got to F4. That way all the harmonies stay kind of nice and close. If you were a piano player, that might be something you did. Gave you all I had and you tossed it in the trash. You tossed it in the trash. You Just keeps everything a little tighter. Um. They wind up being on the same notes, but that's something you can make a decision on at the end of your project for sure. I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you are a subscribed member to Cordify, you can actually download the MIDI by clicking on this button right here, and it'll let you have a um, fixed tempo for score editing version of the MIDI as they play it, which is kind of neat to be able to do but you do need to subscribe to them. But the price is very, very good if you buy their one year package. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.